What's the biggest WTF gift you've ever received? When I was like 12 my mom's boyfriend gave me a holiday card with sexual themes in the text. My mom pulled me aside later and told me that he was almost illiterate and hadn't read it before giving it to me and to never talk about it again. 16th birthday, then girlfriend's dad gifted me a pair of sexy red lacy thong panties. I still don't know if he was suggesting that I sleep with his daughter, his wife, or him. When I was about 10 my little brother, only 3 or so, was very sweet and told my parents he had a present for me but didn't want anyone to see and wanted to wrap it himself. Christmas morning comes and I'm very moved by the shoebox sized gift my little brother taped up as best he could and made my mom wrap for him. He excitedly brought it over and I noticed it was pretty light but his eyes were giddy with excitement for me to open it. I figured it was a hand drawn picture or something and so I made a big show about being excited to see what was inside. As I started to remove the tape from the box I noticed a little odd smell but figured it was just because the old box was in the basement. When I finally got the lid open and my brother excitedly exclaimed Merry Christmas I got to see what he was so excited about for the past two weeks. The box contained a dead hummingbird that had run into the window, an earthworm, and a few scattered saltines in case the worm and bird got hungry. Best present ever, but definitely WTF. For my bridal shower my mother-in-law gave me an old bikini. How do I know it was old? The elastic was crusty. I had one of these with my nana that turned into a fucking hallmark life lesson. High school, 1998 or so. At some point in October or so I mentioned casually during a visit that my bedroom was chilly at night. Come Christmas, I open my gift from nana. A space heater. As a teenager who was hoping for video games or CDs or other such things, I put on the forced smile rictus and thanked her for the gift while internally bemoaning all the loot that could have been. I must have been grossly unconvincing because she got a bit anxiously defensive, you said your room was cold. I thought it'd help out. Later that night we head home, I plug the space heater in when I go to bed because why not? My god. My god, you all. The difference that space heater made. Actual fucking comfortable sleep for once. No waking up halfway through the night shivering, or getting shocked awake by my foot straying too far from out of the covers. The next time I went to her house I gave Nana a giant hug, and told her how much better my room was at night with that space heater, and gave her an actual genuine thank you. I didn't even mind the following I told you it'd help. Ever since that Christmas, when I get something practical for Christmas from Nana, I thank her sincerely, because it will be useful. I still use that space heater 20 years after the fact, too. A book called This Is Why You're Single, Thanks Mom. This wasn't me but it's a great story anyway. My very materialistic sister dated, and eventually married, a pretty rich guy. They met on New Year's Eve so by the first Christmas they shared they were together for a year. The whole first year he showered her with gifts and trips and all kinds of stuff, even paying for her education. He seemed like a great guy but because he was a little weird and shy my parents didn't meet him until that first Christmas. Well he showed up with gifts for all, really nice and thoughtful things. My sister opened hers last. It was huge box, inside was another box, and another, that old gag with maybe 10 or 12 boxes. Well we were all thinking at the bottom there is a ring, he is going to propose. When she got to the final box it was a single roll of toilet paper and a can of Campbell's soup. I just about pissed myself with laughter looking at my sister's dumb fucking face. One of the top 10 moments in my life if I'm being honest. We never got an explanation as to why, it wasn't an inside joke or anything, just a weird fucking thing from a weird fucking guy. I like him, maybe even more than my sister does, but my parents definitely think he's a weirdo. Edit, forgot to mention about 8 years after this I moved across the country and my first Christmas without the family he sent me a half eaten box of stale triscuits and a ziplock bag of hair that had fallen off their cat. There was no card but he wrote Jews rule on the wrapping paper with sharpie. My reward for being the only member of my family to not shun him for his weird behavior over the years. Edit, here's a pic of my gifts for the non-believers, https colon slash slash imgur dot com slash hoa 7 to a guinea pig. Just a guinea pig, no cage or anything. Eater they gave it to me in a bucket, we kept it for a few months then gave it to my cousins. Christmas, 1993. I was 11. My grandma gave me one half of a pool cue. She gifted the other half to my then 8 year old brother. Grandma, see? You can only use it if you two cooperate and share. 
We did not own a pool table. A jar. When I was 12. When I was in college my sister gave me a Donald Duck cement lawn ornament for Christmas. It weighed at least 40 pounds. I didn't have a lawn, and I didn't like Donald Duck. She has an excessive amount of lawn ornaments in her yard. I suspect that she realized that she hadn't gotten me anything as she was getting into her car and just grabbed the closest thing. I was given a large industrial light bulb, think of a cylinder the circumference of a soccer ball and about 15 inches tall, by my uncle. He told me it was worth a lot of money and would be hard to find another one if I ever needed one. Edit, found it in the garage and then online. Here it is, the light bulb that isn't as big as I remembered https colon slash slash www.1000bulbs.com slash product slash 6512 slash mh-64714 dot html a cheese and champagne gift set that had the champagne and most of the other goodies taken out of it so cheese in a mostly empty box my mom last year decided she didn't want to go off of my christmas list anymore because she wanted to surprise me one of my gifts was a framed painting of two penguins i was confused and it has been sitting in my closet for a year now book on tantric sex for me and my boyfriend from my brother. I opened it in front of my mom and all my in-laws, great-grandparents and teen cousins included. I think it was a sincere gift. My youth pastor showed up to my house on my birthday and made a big deal about the gift he brought me. I opened it and it was a dead squirrel he shot that day. Guy I worked with in community college bought me a pair of gorgeous diamond stud earrings. It was WTF because. We had never spoken before that day. We weren't even acquaintances because we worked in different departments. He used this very expensive gift to ask me out. He asked me out for the weekend. At his place. His exact first words were you look like a woman who knows she deserves the finer things. Merry Christmas. It was July. Needless to say, I did not accept. He started arguing that he'd bought this beautiful gift and why wasn't I thankful? I tried to explain that buying a crazy expensive gift for someone who doesn't know you puts them in a very difficult position, one I didn't appreciate being put in, but he wasn't having it. My co-worker who worked the desk with me had to tell him, with a lot of cuss words and a couple threats bless him, that the dude needed to back the fuck down. That was the end of it for a while. Like two or three months. He never spoke to or bothered me again. Then I came into work one day and heard he'd been fired. A bunch of people were asking if I was okay and had he tried to do anything to me. I was freaked out and confused. I found out he had put a dead rat in the cabinet under where I stood at the service desk with a note that said something like just reminding you what you mean to me. I'm paraphrasing my co-workers paraphrase there because they wouldn't let me read it. Anywho that's the story of how I got offered a desk job in the back and a 75 cent hourly raise. Edit. Lots of people commenting on this ego eyes. This is my official permission for someone to post it there if they want. I'm sure if I did I'd just look like I wanted karma. A deactivated hand grenade duct taped to the head of an African style spear. I randomly went to some extended family Christmas event and they gave me a woven basket. Within 10 minutes, they had asked for the basket back. It meant something to them? I didn't really care, I thought it was odd and funny. A pet rat. Based on me having told the gift of that when I was in elementary school I liked the school's pet rat. I was 26 when I received this gift. Rat turned out to be a very good rat boy and we mourned his loss approximately 2 years later. Last Christmas my mum got me a pair of XXL flannel pyjamas. I'd been shopping with her the day she got them. She said they were for an aunt and bought myself some pyjamas in a medium as we were talking about how I'd lost weight over the last couple of months since coming off my antidepressants. She also asked that day if I liked flannel and I told her I couldn't wear it because it causes my psoriasis to flare all over my body. I got a can of shaving cream. I was 11 and couldn't grow a mustache to save my life. Still can't and I'm pretty sure the can is still under my bathroom sink. Edit. Guys, I'm 24 now. An Egyptian pharaoh pen when I was in middle school. It was all gold colored, and the pen barrel stuck out between his legs. Needless to say I was mocked mercilessly by my classmates for having this massive Egyptian dong pen. Wasn't me but my cousin, and we all still laugh about this. Her step-grandmother was always giving her the strangest gifts, including a shiwi, that helps you pee standing up as a girl, but our favorite was when she got my cousin and her husband a sex painting canvas. 
It's a large tarp where you cover yourself and you're so in paint and roll around on it while having sex to create a love painting. My cousin was really shocked to get that from someone who was supposed to be a grandmother figure, as well as from someone she didn't have the closest relationship with. Still makes me laugh to think about. Edit. So I talked to my cousin and she and her husband laughed about whether they should do it and frame it and gift it back. Also another fun present she gifted her, a born again doll when she was 16 for Christmas, look it up for full WTF context. Edit 2, my cousin, receiver of the gift, you hedge commented down below to add some more info. She is the keeper of all the fabulous stories surrounding this woman. For Christmas, my mom once gave me coupons to a restaurant that had recently went out of business. Maybe not WTF in the general sense, but certainly poor timing. My husband's parents gifted him his cemetery plot on his 50th birthday. One for me, two. A microwave. It wasn't even a nice one with unnecessary modern features. I fucking already had a microwave. And it was from my girlfriend. Was nearing my 16th birthday and my family kept dropping hints about a car wasn't expecting anything newer than 10 years old as we were barely middle class. A car would have been great as waiting for my mom to drop me off pick me up from work sucked. For three damn months they kept asking me about what I thought of certain cars. Talking about how I'd have to learn how to do basic maintenance. How to keep it clean looking so people wouldn't think bad of me when I got a car. The day comes and there's a box just big enough to hold a small item such as a car key. They gather round and proudly hand it me. As I open it I realize it's a Hot Wheels car. They didn't even spring for a new one. They gave me a broken Hot Wheels car from a toy box I didn't realize I still had. Edit. To everyone asking, I was in no way thinking I would be handed a car when I turned 16 because I felt entitled. I knew we were borderline poor growing up they started dropping these hints and leading me on about a car. I fully expected to have to have by my once I had enough money saved up. Yes they were dicks to pull that kinda shit, but we moved past it and they helped me down the road upgrade to a nicer used pickup when I was 19. A pair of diabetic socks from my mother-in-law. I'm not diabetic. I think she just thought they were warm socks for around the house and didn't read what they were really for. Edit. I did try to wear the socks, but they didn't work fit. I agree they probably are great socks for non-diabetic people as well. Nothing against the socks. Just a strange gift to give with no context or explanation. I was once given some yeast, a cucumber and a pack of Toblerone and for a secret Santa. A pack of Justin Bieber trading cards. Why would anyone want to trade those? I kept them for myself. When I turned 18 I got two inflatable sex dolls from a couple of friends. That was weird. One of the dolls was a cow that could say moo. A decorative seasonal Christmas pillow with rhinestones that made it impossible to use. My grandma got it for my 5 year old son. He was so confused. I have been disabled my entire life. It affects the footwear choices in my life. My mom has bought me dozens of pairs of slippers that I cannot wear. Sometimes multiple pairs per year. I have given up at this point. I just give them away. When I was a teen, before I moved out she also had given me embroidered dish towels with weird things. She also refuses to actually get my damn size and just holds clothes in the air and looks at them to decide if it looks like it should fit. Barbecue sauce. I was in the navy and the MWR reps got $20k to just spend on gifts and whatnot for a Christmas raffle. They were giving away Xbox Ones, PS4S, Fitbits, Beats headphones, Bose headphones, designer purses, a lot of good stuff. So all 200 plus of us have tickets and we're waiting for our numbers to be called out. A pack of sweet baby Ray's barbecue sauce gets pulled out and I'm the lucky winner. Out of all the stuff in that $20k pile of stuff I get barbecue sauce. We're on a ship. We have no access to a kitchen. Also who the hell buys barbecue sauce for a Christmas gift raffle? Edit. I was mostly upset that I got the sauce one month into the deployment we were on. We had 8 more months to go and I had no access to the kitchen on board. When I was accepted into my business college they sent me a single sock. I got a bunch of clothes one year for Christmas from my grandma. I was super excited about getting all these clothes because my mom was making me buy all my own clothes at that time, I was 12. Then I see the sizes. They are sized for someone who is 6 years younger than me. So my sister got all my clothes. My aunt, who grew up in our house and has been to our house several times, 
once gave me a whole load of bath salts and accoutrements. We don't have a bath. A box of band-aids with Shakespearean insults printed on them. My uncle is notoriously cheap. One year he gave me a magazine that had Ichiro Suzuki on the cover. It was a free magazine, as it stated on the bottom of the cover. Another year he also gave me a free t-shirt he had gotten for running a race. Possibly the best was the birthday gift he gave my dad one year a McDonald's Happy Meal toy.